Hello and welcome to The Day Ahead. It is Monday, August the 22nd. I'm Andrew Gagan. Well, taking a look at the week ahead first, locally, on Tuesday we get ANZ Roy Morgan Consumer Confidence. Uh, skilled job vacancies will fall on Wednesday. The highlight overseas, um, China loan prime rates uh, today, Tuesday, US new home sales. Thursday, we get US economic growth for the June quarter. While later in the week, all eyes will be on the Jackson Hole Economic Symposium for cues from Fed officials about the path of policy. All right, let's take a look at how global markets enter the week. Stocks on Wall Street were lower, with investors concerned about the Fed's next move to combat inflation. With higher rates looming, large tech stocks such as Amazon and Alphabet fell, along with the major banks such as JP Morgan Chase and Bank of America. And earnings missed by heavy equipment maker Deere & Co added to the risk-off mood. Well, the Dow was off 0.8%. Uh, the S&P 500 losing 1.3%, ending four straight weeks of gains. And the Nasdaq was down around 2%. And European shares ended the week lower as the latest producer price figures in Europe's largest economy, Germany, showed inflation at record levels, adding to gloom over the Eurozone's economic outlook. The MSCI's World Equity Index down 1.3%. Well, German producer prices surged at the fastest pace on record in July, up more than 37% on the year. It is the biggest rise since records began in 1949, with the month-on-month -month rise 5.3%, also the highest on record. The record increases were driven by soaring energy prices, which are up 105% compared with the same month last year. Well, in the US, Fed officials are still contemplating how large an interest rate increase is required at its meeting next month. Richmond Fed Reserve President Thomas Barkin saying in moving rates to a restrictive level to cool demand and prices, he commented that on the margin, I tilt toward to get there faster. But there's still some question in my mind about how you balance the, that urge with the uncertainty about the underlying health of the economy in a world where our moves operate with a lag. Well, the Fed is expected to hike rates by either 50 or 75 basis points at next month. US longer term Treasury yields moved higher in response to the record German producer prices. The 10 year rising 10 points to 2.98%. The two year is at uh, three and a quarter percent. Major currencies were weaker against the US dollar. The Aussie falling below 70, currently at 69.1 US cents. The local share market is set to start the week lower. ASX futures currently down around four tenths of a percent. Global oil prices were up marginally on Friday, but were down for the week on a stronger US dollar and concerns that a slowing global economy will erode demand. Brent crude at around $96 a barrel. Iron ore futures fell more than 5% over the week to $104 a tonne. Base metal prices were mixed, although nickel was up more than 2% in Friday's trade. The gold futures price falling half a percent to $1,762 an ounce, hitting a, a three week low. And Bitcoin sold off sharply to end the week and is trading at around 21,500 US dollars. Well, among the companies reporting today, we'll hear from Lendlease, Nick Scarly, uh, O Media, Sonic Healthcare, Southern Cross Media, and the Star Group. And Ampol has dropped its figures half year replacement cost operating profit, uh, net profit after tax up $471 million, half year EBITDA up 85% to $927 million. Interim dividend of $1.20 a share. And that is your day ahead. We'll see you again tomorrow.